The advent of COVID-19 has not only threatened human life, but disrupted the very fabric of how business is conducted, forcing firms to think outside the box. Preventive measures such as restricting movements and less human interaction significantly challenged businesses both formal and informal. One sector that was gruesomely impacted is cross-border trade as men and women involved in the occupation could not do business in the region. Fees related to COVID-19 certificates in different countries exacerbated the high cost of doing business. The aforementioned pandemic-related challenges have necessitated proliferation of digital financial services. According to the Bankers Association of Zambia, mobile money uptake in Zambia recorded exponential growth in the financial year 2021. In the last two or three years, we've seen a phenomenal jump in the usage of mobile money as a preferred mode of payment in the, in the economy. So yes, the mobile money are helping to improve payments on the mobile money channel. So just to give you a perspective, in 2021, for instance, the mobile money payments uh, moved close to 170 billion kwacha in terms of transactions for the year 2021. And the, in terms of counting transactions, these were 834 million transactions in 12 months. That's quite a huge platform right now because it has overtaken the other traditional means of uh, moving payment between a seller and a buyer, if I may simplify it that way. So the mobile money channel is taking a lead, 134 million transactions. These are transactions of 150, even more. But when you sum it up in the whole year, we had 134 million transactions coming to close to 170 billion. Then secondary is the old one, the EFT channel. This is the online banking platform on your bank account. That one, we moved about in, uh, in terms of funding, I mean, in terms of volumes, there were about 8.5 million transactions uh, with 98 billion questions. So you can see the, the differences. Southern Africa Cross-Border Traders Association is taking advantage of increased mobile money uptake to equip cross-border traders with knowledge on digital financial services. With support from Southern Africa Trust, Southern Africa Cross-Border Traders Association hosted a training workshop which attracted cross-border traders from all parts of the country. Different digital financial service providers and stakeholders championing the agenda of financial inclusion participated in the workshop. The workshop aimed to enhance the understanding of women and youth on the utilization of digital financial services and to understand risks that come with utilization of digital financial services. The training had blessings from government which unreservedly participated. We are happy that Southern Cross Border Traders have taken this initiative to educate you. And even now, it has come at the right time when Zambia has even also signed up to the continental free trade area. When you look at the CFTA, the issue of e-commerce, the issue of digital financial inclusion is key and it has also been given importance. And similarly, even in, within the SADC region and the Comesa region, we are moving away from a time when you would physically trade with one another. You can still be able to do trade using digital means and digital digital platforms. Most of our cross-border traders are women and the youth. And for us, in our exit strategy, our trade policy, we've also paid particular attention to ensuring that the concerns of the women and the youth are addressed. would like to see that more women and youth are participating in trade. But as they are participating in trade, information is key. Southern Africa Cross-Border Traders Association Secretary General Jacob Makambwe utilized the opportunity to counsel the government on financing opportunities such as constituency development funds, among others. But what we also want to maintain through government is really to look at the support that has been given. For example, the support that has been mentioned in budgetary allocations like SMEs that are supposed to have access to funds apart from the CDF itself. There have been some funds that have been targeted for SMEs. 
and we are still looking forward to look at how processes are going to be laid down that SMEs, SMEs are supposed to pro, you know, provide an application, the processes and access to the same funds. So we just want you to take this particular information that it might not be targeted to say this is for customer traders, but it must have a, a, a process that is very easily accessible that everyone can actually have access to it other than the way we used to experience previously. If a facility is there, some other sectors are different tracks. Airtel Zambia head Airtel Money Marketing Manager Mitchell Hamwetwa took time to educate cross-border traders on how they can leverage mobile money services to enhance their trade. We are all alive to the fact that if you are in, a, in your store, uh, you can't be there 20, uh, you know, the whole day selling your items. You have somebody who's working there. And we've had incidences once or twice where an employee steals money. How do you prevent that? If you are receiving money onto your wallet, you prevent the pilferage of your finances. And the last but not the least is that this is basically a bank grade level security. Yes, we have issues around fraud, which I'm sure we will discuss. But the issue, you don't have instances of hackers going into your digital wallets and stealing money. So you have infrastructure that is extremely secure and your money is kept safe there. Rosemary Mulenga, who took part in the training, explains how valuable the knowledge gained is enabling her to cash out on digital financial services. It's helping in so many ways because um, firstly, uh, security reasons, you don't have to move around with cash, you can just easily make a transfer. Um, and um, again, it's making life easier because, um, for example, you get to the border and uh, you don't have cash on you to pay for duty. Um, the, the running business that has remained back home um, definitely will continue bringing in money and they can send you money to clear your goods. So it's, it, it has made a lot, uh, life a lot easier. Even the fact that, um, you know, people don't always have to go to the ATM to go and withdraw. They can just easily do an e-wallet or um, Airtel money transfer. And the good part about it is that these days you can transfer money directly from your bank account to a mobile. Digital payments, first of all, are very safe. They are very safe. And for our clients, for example, those who are out of town, say for example, a client is in Indola and they need to send money to me. If my name and my advertising name tallies with the um, mobile account name, it makes them um, trust me a little, a little more. So we have clients who, who send money from different towns we've never met, but we do transactions easily. They transact, I send the goods. So it makes life very easy. Stakeholders such as financial sector deepening Zambia and Consumer Unity Trust Society, who actively participated in the meeting, feel that the workshop will help increase financial inclusion among women. With the coming in of digital financial services, we've seen financial inclusion. Financial inclusion meaning we have seen access and use of financial services by people that are not just with a bank account, but even if you don't have a bank account. So it has become more inclusive. So digital financial services are a key to inclusivity, to making sure that almost everyone, anyone, can access a formal bank account. It doesn't have to be a brick and mortar bank account, so it's actually a financial service. For digital financial services, it largely includes, uh, improves or encourages women to be included in financial services, and it also provides safety when they are crossing uh, borders. So this also um, encourages them to engage more in trade and also increase their income as they are trading in these different spaces across borders. So I think the, the largest thing that digital finance, uh, financial services provides is the inclusion and the safety of women as they uh, trade between 
borders. Consumer Unity Trust Society board member and program advisor Sajeev Nair commanded the initiative saying it is key in integrating traders in the form of financial services who could not afford traditional banking. We feel that digital financial services is very important for an inclusive economic environment. That's the start with. That means we are bringing in SMEs, cross-border traders, the women traders, informal sector into the banking system. And uh, we found that it provides convenience, it gives better security than keeping cash, it is also accessible or affordable also and affordable compared to the traditional banking system. We had a lot of players in the system, citizens who are out of the banking system because banks were not affordable. You have, you know, you need to have documentation to get bank account, you have the exorbitant service charges and all those those who are out of the system now they could they could be part of the financial sector by working on digital services such as mobile money e-wallet and all those meanwhile the center for trade policy and development is of the view that digital financial services are key to unlocking entrepreneurial opportunities in the zambian economy it is very important to the zambian economy at large because obviously uh, not sooner or later, digital financial services will be taxed and obviously government will be getting revenues from these uh, service providers that um, are platforms, obviously, that do uh, uh, provide those services. There's Airtel, there's MTN, and you can mention others that can actually bring uh, revenues to, to, the, to the economy. But also, just for the convenience, you know, we are now in the digital era and uh, COVID-19 has proved to us that maybe where we are going, probably we will need uh, uh, to do most of our transaction online and not uh, physically. As Southern Africa Cross Border Traders Association continues to collaborate with other key stakeholders to promote digital financial services among cross border traders, it is envisaged that cross border traders will have access to finance for increased trade, thereby enhancing the agenda of regional trade integration.